So we're gonna make a paint out of glass beads and we're using glass beads number three, which are very small. Um, we have many different sizes of glass beads. These are our jumbo glass beads, super big. Um, then we have number 16, which is almost a powder, very fine. This is actually, the, the finer glass beads are used in road paint. That's what makes it kind of reflective, if you've ever wondered. So you can make a, a kind of very finely reflective paint using our smaller glass beads. Um, and today I'm going to use number three, which is sort of a finer but still somewhat chunky glass bead to make a really fun, beautiful textured paint. So we're going to start with our glass beads in a container and we're going to add our dispersed water, which makes any dry filler receptive to binder or any liquid really. So it's very useful when you're putting a lot of dry things into paint to use dispersed water to allow the binder to accept the dry filler more easily. So I put in about 5% of the dispersed water and a little goes a really long way with dispersed water. So I'm gonna mix it in and it in does just what its name says and disperses throughout the entire container. And you'll get kind of a wet sand look and feel and that's when you know you've mixed it all in very thoroughly. And now you're ready to add your acrylic 65. So once again, acrylic 65 is an acrylic binder that has the highest resin content of any acrylic on the market. So you only need 20% acrylic to, it, to add into your dry filler, in this case glass beads, and it will still fully bind to your surface. So I added in about 20%. Now if you have added too much acrylic, you can just add in a little bit more of the glass beads. If you haven't added enough, you can just add more in. Um, or you can add a little thickener in if you want it to get a little thicker. So it's basically like cooking. You want to get the right ratio to your taste. I'm going to add a little bit more. But basically at 20%, you're getting total binding without getting the look of a traditional paint. It's really just the look of the glass beads. So I'm gonna paint out to show you what the glass beads look like just on their own, which is a very interesting kind of textured but not pigmented look. So you can do that without pigment. And that's an interesting paint to work with. Or, as I like to do, we can add some pigment in. And it's fun to add a transparent pigment when you're working with the glass beads because the glass beads are so pretty and reflective that if you add an opaque pigment, it's really going to coat the reflectiveness of the glass beads. And you'll still see a, a texture there and an interesting texture um, with that color, but you won't see any of the reflectiveness. So it's, I like to choose a transparent pigment. That way you get color and you still get the pretty reflective glitteriness of the glass beads. So I'm gonna use Thalo Turquoise, which is a nice, vibrant, transparent color. Pigment, I should say. And the Thalos are super high tinting strength pigments. So I just added a little bit in and it really saturated all of the paint. I don't know, even a little bit more. And now you have a beautiful dark turquoise pigmented glass bead paint see what that looks like. Okay. 
And another thing you can do is add in some super shine silver and make the whole thing a metallic. So I'm going to add in about 5%, maybe even less of the super shine silver. And super shine silver is a very concentrated aluminum paste. And it really shows off the sparkliness and reflectiveness of the glass beads. So they're a really good team, the glass beads and the Super Shine Silver together to make a very beautiful texture of paint. And even though this doesn't look like your typical paint, and it almost looks a little bit like uh, uh, dry, like it's not as, as gooey as you would expect a paint to be, it is going to bind fully to the surface because that acrylic 65 that we used is so strong that even a tiny bit goes a really long way. So to show you what it looks like dry, I'm going to pull out a sample of uh, some glass bead paint that I made earlier using the same ratio of acrylic 65 and it's totally binding to the surface. This is actually a larger bead, but it's the same process. So um, there's also much smaller glass beads, like the glass beads number 16, that no longer even really look, you, can, you can't see the individual bead, it's more of an overall velvety texture, but you still see a beautiful kind of shimmery look. And another sample of glass beads with pigment and then with super shine added.